No, he can do a moan out. That would be great. Is that pretty? I think we're going to give him a massage. I was going to say, well, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, no, I'll be well up for that. <laughs> Anushka Shankar was um, actually, Nitin's invited uh, Anushka Shankar, but I, I, I know her also um, from her father. Because when I was a child, I was performing in a in a production called Adventures uh, Adventures of Mowgli. So I was Mowgli, and um, uh, her father was I think somehow involved. Pandit Ravi Shankar was somehow involved in kind of um, uh, helping his student compose the music, and so in a way there was this young girl. Um, she I can't remember how old she was. She was like seven, I think, or six maybe, um, and she was just all the time uh, running around. And she would copy me all the time, dancing. Um, and she just had this amazing energy about her. I didn't know her as a musician, of course, at that age. I just knew her as this annoying uh, <laughs> <laughs> young girl who would just follow me around everywhere. And, um, and wow, she turned out to be uh, such a wonderful musician. But uh, at the time, it was, it was, it was interesting because uh, she could uh, speak Bengali and uh, I speak Bengali. And so in a way, we had something in common, especially when we were kind of taking the piss out of out of out of the different you know elder dancers, um, the gurus and the masters. Mm. We were, yeah, we would just say it in Bengali because nobody else understood us. So <laughs> we had a great time. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, Nishka is some someone I've always you know admired a great deal. I I, I was a massive fan of Ravi Shankar uh, when I was when I was a kid. Um, my mum was a Bharatanatyam dancer and she used to have a lot of Indian classical music that played in the house. And of course, Ravi Shankar is a big hero um, particularly his work um, one thing that struck me was his work with Yehudi Menuhin um, because I was a western classical musician but I also had a very strong interest uh, in Indian classical music and Indian classical dance so um, hearing his music really you know introduced me to a different way of thinking especially as a composer and and it allowed me to to I suppose explore the idea that you could blend different ways of thinking um, without having the boundaries of, uh, of nationality uh, constricting your expression. And, um, and Anushka has really inherited a lot of her father's innovation and uh, brilliance and technical virtuosity as a musician. And I've collaborated with her now quite a few times um, and continue to write with her. I just wrote with her literally a few months ago, uh, a new piece for her album, but she appeared on my last one. Um, always exciting to watch a fantastic musician effortless you know when you see her she's just always smiling at other musicians and and encouraging them and uh, and working with them she she's one of these musicians who and it's a rare breed of musicians who really engages with the other person that she's she's playing with on stage uh, to such a degree that um, the, 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 the synchronicity kind of uh, evolves from the way you, you play with her. And I think that's what's very special about her. She's, a, she's an inviting musician both to the audience and to the other people on stage with her. And Anushka's a dancer, mm -hmm. but not many people know that because she actually, <laughs> um, she actually dances on the beach uh, in, in South India in the rave parties <laughs> all week. 